Hello everybody. So it's been quite a while. I have been super busy IRL, um, working full time, learning to drive, learning to code, learning to do this, learning to do that, playing with friends because they're back from uni now, finished uni, so we've been playing a lot. So I've not had much time to put into a YouTube video, at least of all a Warframe one. So we're back now because there's a lot of stuff coming to Warframe that looks quite exciting. Um, and I just saw that the Wukong Prime dro just dropped a few days ago and I thought I might do a video and an, a little Billy thing. Um, he is amazing. He's absolutely amazing. He looks amazing. I actually, I actually hated normal Wukong. He was my least favorite frame. I, I got him to 30 and went, that's nah, done. He's crap. But now he, he actually looks like the Monkey King. It is, is great. He actually looks amazing. Um, so the color scheme, I kept it default, but I saturated it a bit. So I made the, the darker colors darker and the white colors brighter and all this and all that. So he just looks <laughs> incredible now. So um, we'll go over his abilities first, just to quickly get those out of the way. So his passive, after taking fatal damage, Wukong automatically uses one of his mastered survival techniques. These techniques can only be invoked three times per mission. You don't really have to worry about this. It's just going to stop you from dying three times. It's simple as that. Moving on, Celestial Twin, you have this on at all times. Um, shedding part of himself, Wukong creates a twin to fight by his side, attack at range, and the twin will melee, pull a blade, and the twin will lay down, covering fire. Use again to command the twin to attack a target with increased damage. That's quite... It's pretty good. Um, you just you just turn it on and off it goes, really. It's no, there's nothing exciting about it. It looks cool as fuck. Um, Cloud Walker, this is a great um, evasion and also... Stealth, if you want to use like stealth attack melee, melee stealth attack units. So evaporate into a cloud of mist and float through the battlefield, dazing any enemies encountered while healing Wukong and his twin. So if you can see that your twin's going to go down, you can just recast this or cast it and fly away and you're fine. Defy, Wukong and his twin become invulnerable and defy enemies to attack. All damage is captured, stored and dealt back in a single fury strike of Wukong's staff. Bonus armor is then granted relative to the damage captured. So this acts exactly the way as one of Nez's abilities where you become invulnerable for a bit, take damage and that damage is then returned in a buff. Um, but this one is in armor instead. So it is pretty much that and you also do a bit of damage on the return. It's quite a bit of damage actually. Um, you have Primal Fury, I don't think it's changed very much, you just have a uh, Exalted Weapon, Staff, um, very very strong, I will say now, it's very very strong, <laughs> um, it, but it is very self-explanatory, you just turn it on and off you go. So he's not too complicated, there's not a lot going on with him, beside the fact that he looks fucking awesome. So the build I've gone with is pretty standard. Um, there are many different ways you can build this, I am sure, and I, I love it when you comment down your your versions of Wukong. So, I haven't got the Exilus adapter slot, um, purely because he doesn't really need it, and also, I, I'm lazy, I'm not, yeah, you know. Um, so, still charge, aura, 6% melee damage for a melee frame, that's pretty self-explanatory. Adaptation, um, of course, with your armor stacking, it's it's um, pretty pretty strong. Vitality for the health, of course. Prime continuity. This is more for increasing defy time. Um, it's also increasing cloud walker time, and kind of less drain on your on your ult. So that's fine. Intensify for the strength on it. On most of these these abilities, is self-explanatory. Armor to jelly for more armor. Prime flow. This is this is a this is an if for me. You don't really need prime flow because if you've got efficiency, you can recast fine. I like it though. I always just like flow on most of my frames, so it's not really. That's just up to me. But this this is interchangeable. I think you don't really need flow. It's not quite as important as something else. Um, there is. You could probably put health conversion on there or something. Um, but yep, still fiber armor. This is pretty good considering you get gain armor so the more armor you have the better and of course streamline for ability efficiency moving on to his exalted weapon so there are two ways you can build this with his base stats let me quickly get an empty one so his base stats are 30 percent status which is really high and 25 percent crit chance which is also really high um, the critical multiplier 2 which is also quite good so there's two ways you can build him um, i will show both in this video um, Status, which is condition overload, spam the crap out of corrosive and blast or viral and radiation, it's up to you. Um, and then of course, prime pressure point, prime fury, which you could swap out for prime reach, but I, I only formed it once, I didn't want to form it again. I usually like to keep 
my exalt weapons less formed. Um, so I don't really, I, I'm you know once again I'm lazy. I formed it once because I wanted to put put pressure point on because that's all I could fit. Um, it starts with two Naramon polarities or the dashes. So I took one out and put a Majorai one on instead. So yeah, this is pretty self-explanatory. Condition overload for dual stat element mods, Prime Fury or Prime Reach or both of them if you really wanted a former for it. Um, and then Prime Fever Strike for more corrosive procs. And that's pretty much status crit. Um, is the same as usual crit builds. However, you can't have Maiming Strikes if you are lucky enough to own Maiming Strike. You can't have it on, on the Exalt Weapon, which is fair enough because <laughs> he's already pretty strong. So this is Prime Fury, Berserker to get those big old DPS hits in, um, Organ Shatter and True Steel, um, and then you've got Prime Pressure Point, and then two dual stats, of course, and a Private Fever Strike, which you, again, you could swap for Prime Reach. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. I think the status is way, way faster at um, demolishing these enemies that I'm about to fight. So, yeah, I'll just quickly give them the test. The, the usual test is um, five Corrupted Heavy Gunners at level 140. Um, for this, this one, I will pause just to quickly show you what the exotic weapon can do. So, you can just cast your twin, get your exotic uh, weapon out. Just fly on over there with a cloud, stun them all up, and then just give them the absolute, absolute yeeting. And that's that. They were level 140, by the way, just saying. Um, so, yeah, it's uh, pretty disgusting. Also, uh, one thing I should mention is actually the melee combos. You should get, definitely give this, give these a couple, give these a try. They're more interesting than the usual ones. Um, so, I can't do one now. It's like... Oh, it takes practice anyway, but uh, you could do some uh, pretty funky stuff with those and yeah, right Let me quickly show you what the other crit the critty one does so this this I don't think is quite strong. So don't Don't you know take this one? It's you know if you don't have condition overload, which I'm sure some people don't um, So you're, it takes a little while But of course your attack speed is way higher it depends. It depends on how you, how you want to build it. If you want to build for crit, that's fine. If you don't have condition, condition overload, that's fair enough. Because you'll still kill them. No problem. You'll still do plenty of damage. Um, it's just... Oh, I've fallen off. Um, so you do plenty of damage. It's just condition overload does it slightly better, in my opinion. So, yeah, that's that. Um, I will do one more test with the enemies on. So you can see the Celestial Twin. Um, it's... He he's pretty good. He he's fairly simple. You just you just you 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 basically cast your your twin, you cast your royalty, and then you use your um, defy and your cloud walker as kind of abilities to keep you alive. So you just got to keep keep an eye on your health and stuff. Um, yeah. So we'll unpause this and then we'll simulate cloud walker on over there. Turn on my defy. Let them hit on me a bit. Blow them up. It doesn't do quite a lot of damage to the fire, but it's fine. I think I've still got crit on. But yeah, if you're uh, if you're ever in trouble, just keep an eye on your health. I know some people don't really like to do that and just like to worry about other things. But, you know, they won't hit you very much. And you can just see for yourself. Um, you'd, you'd be doing a lot of damage. Of course, I'm not using corrosive, so I'm using viral. So I'm still doing a lot of damage. You've got to take that into account. He, he is very strong now. I, I actually really like him. He's, um, he's a very, very cool frame. Probably one of my least favorites to my absolute tops. One of my tops, anyway. So, um, I'll quickly show you what my old Wukong looked like. That's what he looked like. And that's because I got him and then went, yeah, he's 30, cool, leave him alone. And now this, and he's absolutely amazing. So, yeah, um, if you enjoyed this video... Thank you. I don't. I don't. I don't care. You. You just don't even like. Just. Just take away. You know. Some. Some knowledge. I don't know. Take away what you will. Um, if you've got any other builds, any other things that you, you. You would suggest, put them down in the comments. I love reading them. I love reading people's different builds and all their all their equipment and what they're using and stuff. So, it is very. It's very fun to read. So I thank you for watching this video and I will see you again soon. Hopefully, peace out.